Hi, welcome to the second in Studio Lajo Cree's Travel by Train in Japan series. Larry Krieg, back with you to talk about getting around in Japan. Yes, you can rent a car in Japan. Driving there is quite a bit like driving in England, since they drive on the left of generally smaller cars. Oh, disclaimer, I've never tried it. Japan has over 43,000 miles of expressways, most or all of which are tollways. According to online sources, tolls from Tokyo to Osaka are close to $120, about the cost of a bullet train ticket for the same trip. There are lots of domestic flights in Japan, but I've never taken one. My Japan Rail Pass gets me everywhere, and though it may take longer, even by bullet train, I prefer to see the countryside. I find getting around without a car is super easy in Japan. While growing numbers of people own and use private cars, the expected manner of travel for most is by public transportation. Walking and biking are very common, which may be partly why most Japanese people look fit and healthy. Taxis are pretty reasonably priced and easy to find. The taxi meter will show you how much you owe, and your white-gloved driver will accept cash or, in many cases, credit. No tip is expected, though. When traveling by public transportation in Japan, the general idea is you pay according to the distance between where you got on and where you got off. Makes sense, right? So most public transportation requires some sort of evidence of where you got on and payment when you get off. On buses and streetcars, there's a rear door where you get on and take a ticket that shows where you boarded. Nowadays, though, most people use a smart card, the kind I mentioned in the previous video. With this, you tap an electronic target when you get on at the rear of the vehicle. In either case, an elaborate electronic sign at the front shows the price for getting off at the next stop. If you, if you don't have a smart card, you pay the driver as you leave by the front door. If you have a smart card, just tap the target by the front door as you leave. To board trains, most people go through a fare gate, which stays open as long as you tap it with a valid railway smart card, and you do the same when you leave. The gate will calculate the amount you need to pay and either deduct it from the card, or if you don't have enough money left, it will close the gate and you'll need to go back and put more money on the card. This is just like many subways in the US and around the world. If you have a rail pass and ride on the JR system, you don't go through the gates since they can't, at least not yet, determine whether you have a valid pass. Instead, you go past a staffed window at one side of the row of barrier gates and show your pass to the official, both as you go in and as you come out at your destination. What's the JR system? Well, I'll explain all about that in the next video. Well, after a busy day of travel and sightseeing, most often you'll want a nice place to put your feet up and relax. Japan has hotels of all kinds wherever you go. The prices are about what you'd expect from similar hotels in the U.S. Big cities have luxury hotels for several hundred or even thousand dollars a night, business hotels for fifty dollars, and plenty of choices in between. Most hotels offer western-style rooms, but there's a special kind of traditional lodging called a ryokan. These offer classic Japanese rooms and dining facilities often associated with hot springs and public bathing segregated by gender. Here Japanese people allow themselves to shed their western style clothing and revert to centuries-old Japanese styles, not only of clothing but of food, furniture, and manners. Before staying at a ryokan whose rooms range in price up from $200, be sure to read up in a guidebook about etiquette and codes of conduct. For a good combination of comfort and economy, I've found Nothing beats Toyoko Inn. This is a large chain of woman-owned and woman-managed business hotels found in practically every town and city neighborhood. Toyoko, meaning beside, I suppose implying going beside you as you travel, has a highly standardized architecture and interior designed for practical, efficient comfort. They are all high-rise buildings, tan inside and out, topped with a white cap and blue neon sign visible from all sides, making them easy to find day and night. They have a loyalty program designed especially for international visitors. Highly recommended. 
If you're staying for a number of weeks in one place, I recommend looking for an apartment. My Tokyo apartment stay with Japan experience was a great way to get a taste of what ordinary Japanese life is like. The cost for two weeks was about what a three star hotel would have cost, but I had far more room and less food expense because I could shop at any of the multitude of grocery and convenience stores within walking distance, warm things up or cook in the kitchen, and wash my clothes without extra cost or hassle. That little washer was my friend. Okay, next up, I'll give you the high level view of railways in Japan. Thanks for watching.